So what we've got here is three component kits. Good morning folks, Lysinius Rex here with Interrobang, and today we've got some more quality of life improvements for you. Now and everybody knows what it's like with the farm bots. You hit them. Bang. They drop maybe a circuit board, almost never a component kit, and one arm. Now then you'll notice that when you look at a Haybot, they actually have multiple arms. So what I'm going to show you today is how we can improve the arm drop rate and how we can improve the drop rate of component kits and a number of other things as well. So we're going to jump out of the game and go and have a look at the files again. So in our game folders, we're going to be looking for two files. The first one that we're going to be looking for here is survival loot, and that is going to be inside survival scripts game. And then the other one that we're going to be looking for is the Haybot file. And we're going to find that inside Survival Scripts Game Characters. And then we've got the Haybot here. So if we want to open those, I'm going to jump over to my brackets so that we can see that. So let's start off with the survival loot. This is going to change the drop rate of any of the anything that you can see in here. Now then it's important to note the chance does not mean there's a 15% chance of dropping it. It means it is 15 times more likely to drop than with a chance of one. And you can also see that you can change the quantity or in fact a, uh, how much the stack is. So what we're going to do is we're going to control F. We're going to look for components. So you'll see here it has a so random loot got a chance of 70. Let's change that to 200. Let's find some more instances of that. Change that to 200. And we're just going to do this the whole way through the file. I'll go ahead and do all of that. So here we have it from a loot crate. So the most important one here, obviously, is the Haybot. So we're going to change that to 200. That means it's almost always going to drop. So we're also going to put quantity equals comma, quantity equals random stack average. And we're going to put a 3 there. And that should just give us some nice big stacks as well. Here we have it from a farm bot. I feel like if it's dropping from a farm bot, it should be very likely. So we're going to change that to 200. It's going to be 200 times more likely to drop than a circuit board at the moment, which is obviously exactly what we're looking for. Uh, and okay, that's all of those done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Haybot unit. And this one's very exciting. You're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom. This is a really big file all the way down to the bottom. You're going to see here local scrap body equals sm.body.createBody. Now then this is the scrap arm part. So the easiest thing to do here is just control C, go to a new line, control V, uh, and control V, why not? So let's save both of these files, otherwise nothing's gonna work. Let's go back into our game. Okay, so we've got a guy over here, let's knock him down. No, 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 you leave my plants alone. So you'll see we've got one arm, two arm, three arms, which is fantastic. However, as you see, it's still a drop rate chance. I mean, he killed my plants as well. That's very annoying. Uh, okay, let's go find another one, as he didn't actually drop any loot for us. All that he did was drop arms, but obviously you saw three arms. Uh, you can do that to what, however many of them you want, obviously. Uh, I've just decided to go for three there as, an, uh, as a, a strong example of what you can do with it. Uh, this is obviously my last of my little mini plots. Uh, in case anyone's wondering what I'm doing with these, I have a whole bunch of little mini plots scattered around, and then that way the farm bots never attack, and I can do what I want. That's how I've managed to get the gun real early. Ah, is that one? No, that's a flower. Is that one on the horizon? No, plants again. Ah, there's one. Two of them, in fact. Perfect, so we can have a proper look here. So, run and kill him. Bam, and let's kill him. Bam. So, what we've got here is three component kits. One, two... I lost all the arms. There are three arms from one of them. Just one circuit board, because there's always going to be a chance that we still get those. We get those from so many other things as well. And then there's going to be arms absolutely everywhere here. I'm going to have to come back through with the truck later and collect all of these. But there we go, folks. That's a simple quality of life improvement. Obviously, you can make that as ridiculous or as unridiculous as you want for yourself. I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to try and keep them nice and short from now on, just to show you uh, one thing in each video so you can always know where to find it. Okay, folks, I've been Licinius Rex. If you want to see any of my other videos, you'll be able to see in the top left and the top right now. I've got some links to the other quality of life videos that I've done. Be sure to check those out. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave you. You all have a lovely day now. Bye.